because the eyes aren't clean. And I'll do two eyes the same so you guys can have a good look of what it's going to look like with your lips done. So we'll put back on primer. For the next try on of the eyeshadow, I'm going to do just like a natural color because the lipsticks are colorful or they are impactful, I'll say. So the next color I'm using is ID D5. That's the name of the color. It has like a shimmer to it. This one is really, really light. You can barely see this one. Or I can barely see it. just so y'all can see the color. It's really, really light. I think this one will go like, this one will for sure go with the everyday look. And I kinda wanna help it to pop not do a full cut crease if you ever heard of cut crease maybe i'll do a, a video so you guys can see what that is but not a full cut crease but just something to help tone it down right here so the next color i'll select in that crease is b5 and it's like a matte color so this is very matte b5 i'm just gonna put it in the crease here I like this palette. So far I like every color. Ooh, it looks nice. They blend very well. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I need to go to like a festival. Put on too much color because we're going to try on some lips and it could throw off the the makeup and that's not what we want <laughs> okay and just to help it blend i'm going to put on a little bit of foundation
here, which is my Maybelline. It's worn off, but this is Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And I'll use the Maybelline mascara next. And these things I didn't buy um, recently, but I'm just gonna put it on so you guys can see kind of a finished look. This is Maybelline Unstoppable. close to the interior part the inside of your your lashes that's like right here make sure you get those two so you have a full arch of lashes with mascara make your eyes pop The next, again, these products I did not buy recently during my shopping haul, but just to put on a little bit of um, like a highlighter under my brow, I'm going to use NYX Wonder Brow Pencil here. And this shade is medium. And this is an older pencil, so I'm not sure if this is still available. I like to put my um, highlighter on before I put the brow liner on. Just in case I go in the brow, I can go back and just use the brow liner and clean it up. And since we put the foundation right here you can kind of like blend it in you want to use a, a tool similar to this on an angle sometimes I go back and forth but you do what's comfortable and to your liking just make sure the part is that's under your brow isn't too bright, otherwise it doesn't really look um, attractive. Okay, and then I'll use Fenty Brow. So excited to use this. The Fenty Brow Liner. Let's see, let's see. So we're gonna use our Fenty Brow Liner against, this is um, ooh, this is Rihanna. Super excited to support. I love it, I only did a little bit. 
<laughs> oh, this looks nice, girl. When you're doing your brows, sometimes you can like draw the line. Um, and sometimes when I have a really good pencil, I just like to tick at it. Like you're painting your face. Like so you just want to go at it like an actual canvas. Like you're using the paintbrush. I really like this. I'm so happy. I am so happy. I'm gonna take the other side and the brush part. This is the brush. Like a paddle brush. So I'm just gonna take this and I kind of like to fade my eyebrows from the inside of the eye and then just a little bit on the outside of the eye. I don't necessarily do the entire brow. I just kind of like it faded so it looks more natural. Again, we're going for like an everyday look, a natural look. And just an FYI, it normally does not take me this long, but I'm doing a tutorial so that you guys can see how I do my makeup and you can follow the procedure or do something similar pick and choose you know the parts and pieces that you like in the tutorial and I hope you guys are enjoying it please don't forget to like share subscribe comment let me know also if you guys want to see a tutorial with all of the colors on the palette and I'll take some time and do that for you guys because I know that um I wanted to see what the colors look like on my skin because uh, the try on app was not helping me at all. Okay, so this is actually really good. I keep wiping too much of it off because I'm not pressing hard and you don't need to press hard. It doesn't need to be a dark brow. Just do it really, really lightly. Really lightly. You don't need, um, you know, whatever, unless that's your preference. So I like to do it really light. And I try to get them at the same arch. I don't want one too high. Like this one was like that close to being too high. Okay. So I think I'm done with the eyes. Next, we're going to try on some lips.